are you all today welcome back to my channel In today's video we're doing the very very heavily requested perfume collection. Now I have all of my luxury perfumes with me. These are all on the higher side because these were either gifted to me by my mom, by my masses, by my aunts or I either purchased them myself. But in this video I'll also be giving you alternatives. So if these seem to be on the pricier side then you can go for alternatives that are going to be available on Nykaa, on Zara, on all of these platforms so they're more budgeted that way. It is going to be a long video so make sure you grab some snacks or a drink or something. Whatever I show you today these ones are my favorite ones. I I have more that are in my bathroom. I don't use those on an everyday basis. Those are more travel friendly or like smaller packaging or like samples that I get. So we will be talking about this. Now just as you choose what course you want to study or what profession you want to get into, similarly choosing your signature fragrance is also a huge part of your personality because when you step out, people associate that kind of fragrance with you and you with the fragrance. Which is why having a signature scent is something I would recommend to everybody. If you still have not found your signature scent, I can do a video all about that. But it's all mentioned in this book. It's called the Glow Up Guide. I wrote this book a while back, and we've sold a lot of copies. This little baby right here is in the Amazon bestsellers category currently. So I would highly recommend you get your hands on this before the copies run out. It is available on Amazon, on Notion Press, and on Flipkart. It will literally transform you, give you a whole makeover, all on a budget. Now I have all of my notes in my phone. I'll tell you the name of the fragrance. The top notes, middle notes, and base notes. If you're not aware of this, the top note is usually what will stay on your skin for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending. on the fragrance then we have the middle notes and the base notes which will slowly unfold themselves and then you'll be able to get the whole experience of the fragrance basically i will read out the notes of each perfume from my phone because i know the basic fragrance that each one of these has but i do not remember the notes exactly and i want to give you all the information Before we start let me quickly tell you about the types of fragrances in general fragrances are usually categorized based on the concentration they have the first and the lightest one is EDC which is eau de cologne in french the word eau which is eau translates to water or liquid now EDCs or eau de colognes have the lowest concentration of fragrance oils which is usually about 2 to 5% so these last about 1 to 3 hours these are basically just meant to be used as refreshing sprays then we have EDT which are eau de toilettes now these have a slightly higher concentration typically around 5 to 15 percent so it's higher than the colognes now these ones tend to be the lighter more refreshing fragrances and they last for about 3 to 5 hours then we have eau de parfums which is again french for perfume water this has a higher concentration than eau de toilette so it's about 15 to 20 percent and these will last you for about 5 to 8 hours and then we have the ultimate perfume or parfum which has the highest concentration of the fragrance oils which is about 20 to 30 percent so it's quite a lot these are the most expensive and long lasting type of fragrance so it will last about 8 to 12 12 hours and just to give you a rough idea about the prices generally fragrances are priced according to the concentration the colognes are the most inexpensive ones and perfumes are the most expensive ones so usually in our everyday life when we use the word perfume it's not really a perfume sometimes we refer to an EDT as a perfume sometimes an EDP as a perfume sometimes even a cologne as a perfume hopefully this section would have cleared up that confusion and next time you go to a store or you go to any airport you roam into the duty free section you know exactly what each of these is and how long it will last there's a lot more about this in the book so you can have a look at the description box and get the book for yourself if you'd like to but for now let's jump into this so the first one we have right here is jador by dior this one has notes of vanilla peach rose violet jasmine so it's very floral in a sense now this one has a very elegant a very feminine fragrance and it can be worn during the daytime during the evening time as well this was made in france and it has a very fruity or very floral but still a musky fragrance to it you know what i mean this is my mom's bottle which obviously now i consider it as a gift that she's given to me every time i take a whiff of it it reminds me of her and how she used to when she used to go for these evening parties and stuff she used to wear this most of it is actually from my mom's cupboard so i have to thank her and mom if you're watching this speaking of more affordable alternatives we have the yardley english rose and the marks and spencer florentina Just a little disclaimer here. Personally, I've not used the alternatives. This is just out of my research from comparing notes of all of these and from asking my friends and family. Next, we have the opulent shake sapphire. Now, this is from the UAE. Before we talk about the notes, can we just look at the packaging? It opens like this, 
that it comes out like this and the shape of the bottle is like a woman's body. For most of these perfumes, I honestly love the packaging and I feel like the packaging is one of the main reasons why I get so attracted towards luxury perfumes. Now this one has notes of green apple, mandarin, nutmeg, lavender, musk. This is a perfume or parfum which means it will last for a longer time compared to an EDT or an EDP. This has a very woody, this has a very musky fragrance. It's perfect for evening wear, not so much for the daytime I would say. It comes at a very high price point but it smells instantly of sophistication. We will pack it back again. I don't wear this one too often, don't want to waste it. I also feel like mum's perfume specifically I wear a little less because I just want to hold on to her fragrance as much as I can. So in any form that I can, I just try to save up. The iconic Chanel number no. 5. I got this bottle for myself. My nani had her Chanel number no. 5, my mom had her number no. 5 and this is mine. It is an iconic one. Anybody in the luxury perfume market will tell you to get this one. This one is an EDP and it has a very rich, very intense fragrance. That's how it feels on the body. Most of the times I wear this when I'm going out somewhere in the evening, someplace that's slightly formal. The reason I say it's iconic is because this goes all the way back to 1921 and Marilyn Monroe has been said to wear this to bed, which is kind of interesting. It's a classic fragrance. It's made in France. And when I smell this, I'm taken back to the time when I remember for weddings, like when my mom and my grandma, they both wear sarees and we'd go for like weddings and stuff this was what they would put so it's kind of on the formal side of things so i would say if you're going to some place that's nice and formal where you know that you know you'll have all eyes on you this is a classic a must-have the notes for this are neroli jasmine rose lily of the valley vanilla sandalwood so it's got all of those nice floral fragrances being in edp this is on the higher side so if you want something budgeted a good option is the zara woman gold or the nika glam crush next up we have the chanel coco mademoiselle again made in france love the fragrance this is a very nice very daytime fragrance not usually for the evening i just feel like it's a very bubbly very girly fragrance this has notes of orange jasmine rose patchouli vanilla this is again an EDP and it's slightly more intense it says on the packaging as well so it's obviously going to stay for a little while longer than a normal EDP. Now the Chanel number no. 5 the one that I showed you before this had a very traditional oriental fragrance but this one has a more youthful more bubbly more fresh sort of a fragrance. A few more affordable alternatives to this one are Yardley Jade and Nykaa's Pink Crush. Then we have Chanel Chance. Now this was actually gifted to me by my aunt. This is an EDT and it's very youthful very fresh very bubbly again. It's got notes of pink pepper jasmine vanilla white musk this i feel is perfect if you're going out with your girls if you're going out for brunch with your girls or just something that's very casual same thing for mademoiselle as well i feel like both of these are perfect for like daytime functions when it's nice and bright you're wearing a nice summer dress to me it feels very floral and fruity i really like it speaking about alternatives two good alternatives are zara femme and nika peony crush the reason i'm telling you most alternatives from zara or nika because those are easily available i will try to leave links of these perfumes as well as the more affordable versions so whichever one you'd like to buy you can check them out from the description box then we have my favorite gucci bloom i can say my favorite for all of these but this one has a special memory attached i think i spoke about this in a video as well where i said i was at the duty free in london and i was traveling for the first time on my own and i was like if i can figure this out traveling from london to delhi alone on my own for the first time i will gift myself a perfume i went through the baggage went through the security everything was done and i was at the duty free i was like should i buy it should i not and i was like you know what why not so then i bought this one for myself it's gucci bloom it's the first actual perfume that i bought for myself so it definitely has a very special place in my heart even the exterior packaging for this i think i've thrown it now but even the packaging looks so so nice now this one has notes of jasmine, it's got honeysuckle, mask rose, white mask, sandalwood, vanilla, everything that is floral is in this. One of the most feminine and elegant fragrances you will find. It doesn't get more feminine than this. The country of origin is Italy and this is perfect for say daytime events when you're out, again with your friends or even in the evening. Definitely not a nighttime perfume. It's something that I usually wear when I'm going for like an outdoor activity like a garden party or something. And a good alternative to this is the Nykaa French Lavender. Then we have the I see so Rodriguez for her. This is a perfume that I saw online. Deepika Padukone really loves this. By the way, Gucci Bloom is Aditi Rao Hydri's favorite perfume. She used that for a long period of time. And this is Deepika Padukone's favorite. Just a little fragrance trivia for you. Now, this is through and through an evening wear, not a daytime wear. It's very seductive. It's very sultry. It's musky, but usually we associate musky with more sort of masculine scents. But this one is definitely musky and still feminine. Country of origin is France. It is an EDP. This has notes of rose, peach, musk, amber, patchouli, 
sandalwood, vanilla. It's a very nice blend of the notes and an affordable alternative is the Zara Black. This one by the way is perfect for say like a date night or something. Then we have Elizabeth R in 5th Avenue. Whenever I smell this, as the name suggests, 5th Avenue, it takes me back to my time in New York when I was roaming the streets with my mom and my grandparents. I don't know how they just managed to get it right. Like how can a perfume be associated to a place or a memory? I don't know how the science of it works, but this is just New York in a bottle. It has got shades of lilac, magnolia, rose, violet, sandalwood, amber and Tibetan musk. This is also an EDP, a very, very, very sophisticated and elegant fragrance. This is perfect, especially for office, for an everyday use. You can wear it in the day, you can wear it in the night. Of course, the country of origin is the USA because, well, Fifth Avenue is in New York. In case you haven't been to New York or you're not aware about Fifth Avenue, it's one of the most expensive shopping destinations in the world. The most high-end fashion stores, designer boutiques, you'll find all of it there. So this one is just glamour in a bottle. It's also a very famous tourist attraction. And for this one, a more affordable alternative is the Nika English Lavender or the Zara Gourmandetic. Then we have the Paco Rabanne Olympia. Now this one again is Moms. It used to be Moms. And it is an EDP and it's very addictive. It's very sensual and very addictive. Like once you smell it, it's just something that is so... I don't know how to describe it, it's difficult describing perfumes for me but it's something that is definitely like you would want to keep smelling it, you know. This has notes of green mandarin, ginger lily, salted vanilla, cashmere wood which is really nice, sandal wood. As the name suggests, this is inspired by Greek mythology, it's called Olympia. Even the bottle has this sort of a wreath on the side which I really like. If I was working full time at an office and if my office had like formal dinners or something, this is something I would definitely wear. It's not a daytime fragrance, definitely a nighttime one. And it definitely has a sensual tone to it, but also a very warm tone to it, you know. I think that comes from the vanilla in it. Next up, we have Dolce & Gabbana, the one. I've spoken about this one as well in the past in, I think my room tour in London. I got this from my aunt, she gifted it to me. And I have the travel size one as well for this one, which is very, very handy. Because when you're traveling, you're not supposed to carry more than 50 ml. So obviously I can't carry this, but I can carry that. And you know how every fragrance fragrance has like its own place. I feel like for every fragrance, I have a phase of life that I associate it with. This is like that December 2021 phase where I was still trying to figure out my London life, but also kind of getting comfortable with how my life was. Instead of feeling homesick and everything, I was actually enjoying my life over there. I don't know, I don't know if this makes sense, but this is just something that reminds me of that, the fragrance. This has notes of mandarin, lily, jasmine, plum, vanilla, amber and musk. It's an EDP made in Italy and by the way guys, fun fact I've written down here, Madonna chose the fragrance to be the official scent of her confessions tour. Did you know that? As you can probably tell from the bottle, it's a glam fragrance. It's a sophisticated but a very glam out there fragrance. And this is absolutely perfect for formal occasions. I used to wear this to college a lot, but that is just because my college was like a museum back in London. It feels warm, it feels luxurious on the body and if you want something budgeted, you've got the Nyka Glam Crush or Zara Oriental. And then we have the Tom Ford Black Orchid. This was gifted to me by my friend. This has notes of jasmine, gardenia, orchid, black truffle, picholi, sandalwood and vanilla. And this is again an EDP. It has a very mysterious, sensual sort of vibe to it. It's definitely not something that you would wear for brunch. It's something that you would wear more to like a formal occasion. In the evening, if you've got a function, let's say you're attending a wedding or something, it's perfect for that. Or like a special night, a date night or something, it works well for that. This, by the way, is considered to be one of Tom Ford's signature fragrances. Country of origin for this is the USA. Now, why I emphasize on the country of origin is because each country has its own raw materials. Just as an example, France is known for producing high quality fragrances with very sophisticated and complex scent compositions, while the Middle East, for example, is famous for it's rich in opulent fragrances with strong notes of oud and musk. Similarly, let's say the Italian fragrances, they are known for their fresh and citric notes, while American fragrances tend to be more light and fruity. So when you know the country of origin, it can help you make an informed decision. You will know about the quality and the fragrance. Next up, we have something that I've seen ever since I was growing up. So I've had like so many bottles of this in the house lying around. It's the Cologne 4711. It's a very iconic cologne and this I think they only make in Germany, if I'm not wrong. The notes for this are lemon, bergamot, orange, lavender, rosemary, neroli, musk. Because this is a cologne or an EDC, it will help you give a nice fresh uplift. This is one of the oldest fragrances in the world and it's still in production even after 300 years. Can you guys believe it? So that's what really makes it iconic. I always like doing a little bit of research before 
before I buy any perfume so I know where it's coming from I know a little bit more about it and then when I apply it I feel really nice and I know the history behind it rather than just spending my money not knowing where I'm putting it this is perfect for everyday wear so really really like it and then we have Anne Anne this was gifted to me by my Marcy and I love this so much it's again got a very special London memory for me so something that's very close to my heart it's called Casherelle and this has notes of honeysuckle jasmine rose lily sandalwood and amber it's an EDT and the country of origin is France this was launched in 1978 it's been a classic ever since I love the packaging it's a very traditional sort of packaging as well it's definitely a very romantic very feminine delicate floral fragrance that I really really love just screams my vibe it's perfect for everyday wear perfect for date nights don't limit yourself to just the kind of occasion that I'm telling you feel free to make your own choice this is just where I usually wear it i myself used to wear this one all the time it's like my lucky charm perfume whenever i have like an important event even my convocation i feel like it's just my lucky charm perfume so i always spray this on i always have this in my bag love 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 this one it's like love in a bottle so that was about it apart from these i have some travel size perfumes that uh, i will show you maybe in my travel bag or something next time but i hope you found this video informative and you liked what all we spoke about if you enjoyed and you picked something up make sure you give it a big thumbs up leave your comments and make sure you subscribe for more such videos i will be seeing you guys next time till then bye bye